In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can actually create your very own uh, sidebar banner images, okay? Um, you know, and actually super, super simple uh, to do. Okay, um, I'm going to use an online tool, uh, which is uh, I've used before to create uh, these Facebook cover photos, okay? So, uh, that tool's uh, PicMonkey, and you can go at PicMonkey.com. Uh, and that's where we're going to be creating these uh, these sidebar images. Uh, so things like this and this one up here. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is inside of uh, the PicMonkey photo editor, uh, you're gonna, we're going to create our own. Okay, so um, what we need to do is go to design and we need to go, come down here. You can either hit, hit square and size it up yourself uh, or we're just going to go custom. And I'm going to make it uh, 350 by 350 okay so that's a, a nice little square and we're just going to go make it and that's going to give us our uh, template here uh, already sized up okay so obviously from here what we need to do is actually uh, put down a, uh, a foundation image okay so you can see here uh, I've actually used uh, just this image of myself um, so what we're going to do I'm going to use that same image so I'm just going to go to open and we're going to just uh, grab this image again. All right, and that's uh, let's change the size, but we can resize that uh, soon. Um, okay, and from here, what we need to do is just hit that resize button, and we'll just go back down here, 350. Just click that off, 350 by 350. Okay, so that's given us our size again, and we're just going to hit apply. All righty, so that's uh, that's already set that uh, to that that image size. Alright, so from here uh, what we can do is we can add uh, just like we did in that uh, other video about uh, you know creating overlays and uh, text that's exactly what we're going to do again here okay so we can just click overlays. A uh, cool little thing you can do here as well is you can actually put uh, like comic bubbles okay so if you've got a picture of yourself uh, you can make it so it's like a little speech bubble so we might do something pretty cool like that so we'll just click on comic bubbles and let's just put uh, you know something like this. Now that's going to automatically drag and drop it there. You can see how the speech bubble is facing uh, the other way. All you need to do is just come down here and just click this little button down here, and that's going to uh, change that image for us. Alrighty. So obviously from there that looks pretty small. So what we're going to do is just hold down your shift key on the corner, and you can make it uh, any size you want. Okay. So something like that looks pretty cool. And then what we can do here is you can actually change, uh, so it just so it blends a little bit better if you want, or you can just leave it like that, it's up to you. You can change the color of that bubble, okay, you can see so you can suit your branding if you like. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave it like that, and I'm just going to put a slight little fade on it, okay, so something like that, that looks kind of cool. And all you need to do is just click off that, and that image is now uh, set there, alrighty. And what we can do now is we can add some text. Okay, so text, uh, choose whatever font you want over here. I'm just going to go for Arial Black and click Add Text. And that's going to drop a text uh, box right here and we can just start typing away. So, hey, uh, I'm Scott. Uh, this is my site. Uh, click here to read more about me. You know, something like some along 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 the lines of that. Uh, obviously, you can see on mine here. I've got, hey, I'm Scott. I train, I surf, and I build websites. I'm no guru, but I'm hoping I can show you a thing or two. Click on my cool comb over if you want to learn more about me. Okay, so something like that. Just make sure you you know keep it real. Um, you know, just just as, so it sort of sounds like it's uh, you know how you talk. Okay, so. You want something like that, okay? And you want to have a little call to action there, okay? So we've used uh, click here to read more about me, okay? So, you know, something like that. We'll just change that. Uh, put a full stop here, full stop here. All right, and then from here, you can uh, do whatever you want with this text, okay? You can change the sizing of it. So we might just put this, uh, let's just put it onto 20, just so it kind of fits in that box a little bit better. And we can change the size of it if we like, so we'll just put it at that, just so it fits in that speech bubble a little bit better, we can center that text, so you know something like that looks pretty cool, 
and we can also fade that uh, fade that text as well. So we can do whatever you want. Okay, so you can make it co so you can't see it as much. You know, something like that looks okay. All right, and so there we go. We've got our own little uh, banner image. Okay, that we can now upload to our site. Okay, so what we can do from here is you need to save this. Okay, so just come up here where it says save. It's going to take you to the next page here, and we can just put uh, about me uh, sidebar or something like that. Okay, we'll click uh, good quality because we're going to be putting it on our site. And so that's the dimensions. Okay, that's what it's going to be looking like on our site. And we're just going to click save to my computer. Um, you can obviously put it here wherever you want. I'm just going to put it on the uh, desktop. Okay change it uh, over here if you need to and we're just going to click save and that should come up with uh, masterpiece saved okay so we've now created our very own sidebar uh, banner image alrighty so in the uh, videos coming up I'm going to be showing you how to actually put this onto that sidebar and how to uh, link it up to that about page on your blog okay so uh, that's coming up in the next video so I hope you found this video uh, interesting and uh, I hope you can uh, you know, go and have a crack at making your very own sidebar banner images.